Yeah, he's right below the hole. He's coming up the hole. Burbit, burbit, burbit. No way! Oh! Oh my God! What? Alrighty, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of EDB Outdoors. And today we're gonna to be doing an ice camping trip. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know how many times I've done it so far this year, but uh, most of the times I've been pretty almost skunked. But uh, yeah, well not really skunked. I mean, I've got a lot of uh, fish like burbot and jack and stuff uh, while camping out. But I wanna make this video as well. I'm gonna have a buddy out uh, coming out with today. But yeah, got my little spoon here. My little, uh, my frostbite rod, the Royal Flush. 36 inch light my most favorite rod ever for perch but yeah uh, set up on this spot uh, this is a point that uh, comes out of here and uh, yeah it's about like 33 34 feet or something but yeah I don't have the sonar down just because I don't really need it right now uh, but yeah I'm gonna drill some holes inside the tent so I can uh, chill up in there but yeah my uh, buddy of mine he's gonna be staying out the night as well too with me and yeah Hopefully we'll catch some burbot or some jack at night or hopefully even a nice walleye too. That'd be cool. Alright. See how fast we'll catch a perch here. There we go. Ooh, this feels like a nice one too. Those are some good head shakes. Oh yeah, he's a, not a bad perch really fat <clears throat> it's mid-march right now and uh, it's a close to perching perch spawn season now most people would think that they'd be going shallower and I would have thought the same but you know he's all right really chunky though these are breeding and making more perch in the lake So a lot, I think that's a bigger perch. Uh, it could be wrong, but they felt pretty heavy on the hook set there. No, oh, he's not bad. There you go. I hooked it right on the bottom lip there. I don't think this was, was this one that bit it, but there's a, another small perch, but hey, they're really fun to catch, I gotta tell ya. Ugh, let's get him. <laughs> Almost like oh. Okay, this will be the last drop, and then I'm gonna uh, drill some holes in the tent, get the heater rolling and stuff. Yeah, settle in for the night. My buddy should be here too in about, I don't know, half an hour, I think. Hey, alright, this might be a better perch, I think. It has a lot bigger head shakes. And I was right. Oh, it was really chunky. Man, oh man. A lot of these perch have uh, <clears throat> lost a lot of their scales and stuff. I don't know if that's because of spawning and like they're fighting or what. But man, probably second biggest of the day. Okay, you good, bud. Wow, he's really active there. <laughs> he's all right. Let's get him back quickly. Then uh, let's set up in the shack there. Alrighty guys, so this is the next day. Um, yeah, I didn't film a whole lot last night. Uh, it was kind of low key. We didn't catch much. Well, we actually didn't catch anything at all. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, except for a reel that I dropped down the hole. I have that on footage, but yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, it's like about 12 and I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to take a nap here right away. But yeah, I just caught two decent jack so far and a few perch. But yeah, it's been pretty slow today. <clears throat> just waiting until like 2, 3 o'clock. That's when the perch will really start biting. So yeah, wait for that. And uh, yeah, I'll probably start recording with that. But yeah, my buddy made it out. So yeah. But yeah, it's time for this dude to hit the hay for a little bit. <laughs> 
and yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know if I catch any. Hopefully, we hear, we hopefully we hear that here right away. <laughs> this is a pretty good setup, actually. All right, cool. All right, there's my buddy Aaron with me. <clears throat> All right, let's catch some perch. You can barely see me on the camera. Actually, maybe if I okay, yeah, you guys can see me better. Um, okay. Have, uh, lights off. There we go. Okay, that works too. Good okay. Enough. Alrighty guys, so we're catching perch like pretty crazy. Uh, here's one of the keepers that we caught. Well, not really, but they wouldn't uh, survive because we're fishing such deep water. But we are keeping them if we uh, if they don't make it. So, well, they will be harvested. But the best setup for today, well, for me, I was using a little spoon that has like a little chain with a small hook on it. Pretty natural presentation. But this uh, this bait here, it's called the Forge minnow spoon. This is a 1 16th ounce. It says form forge minnow on it, but the camera will not focus on it. But I want to show you guys a knot that's really good for me for this bait here. So you can see the line a bit. So what I do first is a overhand knot. This is the non-slip loop knot, I think it is. So you do a basic overhand knot, kind of make it a little tight. Then you put the line through the eye of the hook like so so it looks like that and then you can see that overhand knot there you put the uh, line through the overhand knot hopefully you guys can see that well and then you put the loop by the eye of the hook like so and then you just do the regular fisherman's knot kind of thing I only do it a few times that should be good enough okay and then you go th back through that overhand knot. Lubricate the line tie and then tighten down. And then cut off the excess line. But what this knot does, it, as you can see, it lets the bait move a lot more freely. And it's a pretty tight knot as well. So we're going to set up with some maggots on the hook and uh, some mew worms and then See if we can catch ourselves some good perch here. Okay, got a few maggots. I'm gonna put them on the hook. What the frick is that? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> That is disgusting. I think we got it on the film too. Oh, I don't know. Biting that. That's just a glove. I think the picture will pass. Oh, that's, that is disgusting, dude. Oh, wow. That looks really appetizing. You gonna try it? Tell me if the picture looks good. Oh, you don't be a fisherman, you gotta eat like a fish. <laughs> Okay, so got the maggots on the hook. We got a few maggots on each uh, treble hook, like so. Then I like to put a mealworm on the hook as well. And my most favorite presentation. There we go. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that well, but that's the mealworm and the maggots on that forge minnow spoon. It's my favorite color too, the fire tiger color. So we're gonna get down there now. <laughs> see what happens when we get down to the bottom. I'm on my cot too, so it's like really comfy in here. We already did one night already, so we plan on doing a second night. Hopefully tonight we'll be able to catch some burbot or uh, some walleye. He just had a bite there. Wait, the perch have been pretty slow today. Like, they're not, like, really hitting it. They've been really, uh, like, finicky, really. But mind you, though, this lake is pretty pressured, and the perch are really uh, finicky most of the time after mid-season. So what I do is all I do is I, uh, go from the bottom, and then I go about... I don't know, four to six inches off the bottom there. Oh, oh, just had a hit there. 
But yeah, that's my preferred depth from the bottom, and the perch seemed to like it, so. Oh. Just another, I just had another hit there. Him again. I'm just gonna lay down now. Oh, there we go. That's a lot more comfy. As well, too, I'm using my Frostbite rod by Royal. Uh, it's a Royal Flush by Frostbite with my uh, 1,000 size Fluga President reel. Pretty nice setup. Got uh, 8 pound test Power Pro braid line on there and. Uh, Eight pound test mono for a liter. Yeah, it's a good setup, but not right now because the perch are not biting it. So, guess we had to deal with that. Oh, dude, you missed him. Don't talk to me about missing fish. <laughs> I've been missing a lot of fish too myself, but oh well. Oh, ooh, this feels pretty good. First fish on camera. All right, man, you hit it really hard too. Holy crap! That's the first not well, non life bait. Oh, he's a lot smaller than I thought he would have been. That's okay. That's on that setup, the mealworms on that forge minnow spoon with the maggots. Oh, oh. Alright, there's the fish there. Not a bad little perch. Let's get him back down to the ball. No? There you go. I don't know what kind of size of the tent I have, but this is a, an Eskimo tent. Uh, it's a smaller sized Eskimo, but it fits two cots while we are able to fish in the middle, so that's really nice. Huh? Looks like a four person. Yeah, I think it's a little four person. Tent. One in like each corner. Yeah, that's not too bad. Feeling like a burbot. It could be me no too, freaking maybe you're dead. <laughs> 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 it's feeling like a burbot, guys. You gotta like get the head shakes are big, it's feeling like I a big I mean when you said I had a big fish when I put up a first yeah. bit. No, <laughs> no, it's big burbot. This is the coolest yeah, shit yeah, like I've ever I'm done. Romantic. Seriously in my life right now. Coming up the hole. Burbit! 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 No way! Oh! Oh my god! What? Holy shit! Wow! Wow! Yo, what is this night? Unbelievable, man! <laughs> How many times do you and me go out and fish all night? Holy! Okay, yeah, you gotta hold that up. Yeah. You gotta hold that up. Look at how fat that is.